TV's Geek Express. Cheryl and I can... Got original 1970s Chevelle AM radio. Uh, we completely redone the case, repolished everything on it. Uh, new set of knobs. Uh, getting where I hate these repop knobs. Sometimes you really have to work with them to make them fit. But anyhow, we've done a full Aurora design conversion on it. Uh, it now has an AM FM stereo. Four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It's got three pre outs on it in case you want to add an amp to your rear speakers and a sub. Uh, original background light, which is, ties into your dash uh, for when the light comes on when you turn the lights on. We'll dim with your dash lights. Uh, it has an uh, auxiliary in, which is automatic. This is your harness you'll be getting. Auxiliary ends right here. You can mount this in a round hole or a use the the uh, mount with it it also has USB port uh, plays the thumb drive charge your phone your devices uh, you'll be getting a thumb drive with this video on it some music and uh, that's your harness for that push button operated on the USB I'll demonstrate that I uh, don't know if this uh, this is going to a restoration shop for installment I don't know if they've gotten one of the new ones this is a 2.7 from Roar. This is a new board and I really, really like it. Uh, this radio has Bluetooth, hand free phone calls, uh, voice command, voice assist, has a built in mic right behind here, extra mic in case you need it. Uh, the radio will also seek and scan your stations without the needle moving and it has voice ID, which is real neat on an AM radio. Uh, right now you're on FM, you got operating LED right behind here, and then over here you got a little red stereo light. If you want to go to AM radio, just simply turn it off and right back on. It takes you to AM radio. Off and right back, takes you right back to stereo. Bite-sized pieces. People like to be hanging out. Don't forget, a week from... Troubling bass like you've always had. Actually... Uh, these new ones here, they talk to you. You ain't got to worry about beeping or none of that stuff. Uh, she will come on and tell you exactly what's going on. Uh, if you have a short in your wire or anything, as soon as you turn this radio on, if it detects anything, she'll tell you where to find it. It's pretty neat. Uh, does not require 12 volt consistence. Uh, no batteries to change. It's pretty neat. That's how your AM FM works. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, show you how to put it in scanning mode. NPR music. And all you do is uh, take the tuning knob Tuesday and turn it up and scale twice. One, two. Scanning for stations. And just slower to. Now it's going to start scanning for stations, but the needle's not going to move. So I'm going to show you how to find a station, lock on a station, and even find it if you want to do a preset on it and save it. We're going to let it scan a few stations. One classical music cities, classical companion. Tonight's music is made possible thanks to the support of listener members just like you. And I sweat many times, but just as I would get ready to go, I would think, as sure as I go to this movie, Jesus is going to come back right in the middle of the movie. Raising hair with the largest selection of natural hair care products in Nashville. Bruce also carries 100% human hair, unprocessed virgin bundles. That I like this, too, because we're not going to extend the two-song challenge. It is what it was. Did we, we follow the rules? Didn't technically hit the two-song goal, but we're not going to play another song. We're going to... Say so you like getting station there, all you do is take your tuning knob and turn it one time. Station hold. Now she'll lock on that station, but as soon as she says that, if you don't know where it's at, just start turning the dial and it'll show up. And there it is. Pull out a preset and you got it. That's how you're uh, scanning stations. It'll do it on AM and FM. Now you got an AM radio, which is probably what the car come with. Some of them did come with AM and FM. And, uh, you want your own FM, you'd like to know what station you're on. Take the volume knob, turn it up three times. One, two, three. FM 92.9. It's called Voice ID. It will do that on AM and FM. FM 89.9. 
So that's called voice ID. So it'll tell you where you're at if you're looking for a specific station. You can let it scan going down the road. When you find one you like, just turn it one time and it'll lock on that station. If you want to find it, it'll go quiet till you find it, pull out a preset, and you can always go back to it. Uh, that's that's a new feature. I like it. All right, uh, auxiliary in, which is automatic. You'll get a mail-to-mail -mail cord like this one, and you can plug anything into it you want to. Satellite radio, XM radio, CD changers, your phone, little MP3 players, and all you do is just turn it on. It automatically changes over. A little light back there went to green. your own auxiliary in you might have a device in your glove box uh, a lot of people like it the uh, satellite radio when you want to go back to radio just turn that dude off in 20 seconds the radio will automatically change back over if you don't touch it if you want to make that 20 seconds shorter during that time just turn it off and back on like you're cycling by an fm it remembers where you're at we are going to let it automatically change over that way we know everything is working because this one is leaving out in the morning. Automatically change back. That's a good deal. I like the way it works. Now we're going to show you another new feature is the push button also works with the knobs now. So you've got multiple ways of changing your songs on your phone, answering your phone calls, and your USB. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pair up the phone. We're going to let her help us. Make sure we're on Bluetooth. And we're going to hold this down right here and pair up the phone. Bluetooth ready to pair. Is that my love? Show it up on her phone. All we got to do is tap on it. She'll tell us when it's done. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. All right, now we're going to do a voice command. Check out this mic here. And you're gonna, you'll get an extra one with it. In case your car's a little loud, loud and you like to rip and roar down the road, you can get that mic closer to you if you need it. Uh, all you do now, there's two ways of doing it. We're going to summon our phone up. We can do it by holding the stick down, the, th the push button down, or we can also do it with the volume knob. So we're going to do both. We're going to hold this down and let's do a voice command. Play music. All right, we're going to music on my phone. I'm gonna break this so we can show you how it works. All right, if you want to advance your songs, you can press this once, twice to back up or repeat, or now you can do it with this here. Turning your tuner knob up, backing it up. All right, now you can hold this down like we did, summers our phone up. You can also do it with a volume knob. Go up twice. Stop music. Put it in pause, when right back to radio. A mass debt that they no longer can. So now you got two ways to answer the phone call. Phone call comes in, it'll override whatever it's doing, you'll hear it ringing. You have the and uh, you can actually turn your tuning knob up one click to answer your call. You can actually push this one time to answer your call. Uh, you can let the phone hang up, go back to doing whatever radio's doing. You can hit it twice here or turn it down on your tuning knob to go back to radio. Mike Johnson. That's a the new feature that we're doing, along with the the voice ID. I like it. Now we're gonna do thumb drive. It's a uh, way it's always been. You'll get one of these a video on it, music. You push it in. You can hide this thing so nobody see it. Go straight to it. Same way with your phone. Advance your songs. Twice to back up or repeat. Or do it with the box tuning knob up once. Back. 
Now, we're gonna put it in pause by using the push button first time. Hold it down one second, put it in pause, go right back to radio. Back on radio, we can do the same thing to go back to it. One second. Depends on how long you're down, will it go to the same song or not? Also, we can use the volume knob. We went up for Bluetooth, let's go down twice. Put it in pause, back to radio. So you have multiple ways of working it now. And I like it. I like it like that because sometimes you, you might not be able to, might have your arm around you, girl. You can't get to the button. Down twice, right back to thumb drive. Let's find a song. I'll show you how to do the balance and control. Now you have built in balance and fader. Depends on how many speakers you hook up. Uh, the way you do that is you uh, wide open triple, wide open bass. This one has a center notch, you can feel it. Let's go into fader, and she's gonna tell you in the fader just. Gonna go clockwise twice, like a 12 to 2 motion. One, two. Fader adjust. Rears, fronts. As long as you're moving this, it will stay in that mode. You find what you want. Balance it out, let her set it. Fader set. Now let's go into balance by going counterclockwise, like a 12 to 10 motion. Balance adjust. Right side, left side. Let's balance it out. Let her set it. Balance set. Now you're back on treble and bass. Let you hear just a little bit of it. It's nice, clear sound. Now let's go back to radio. You can also change it with your push button. As long as that needle moves, you can change songs with it. USB sequential. Back on radio. Back to USB. Hold it down, go back to power for one second. Back to radio. That's your new Aurora Design Board. Uh, this is a 1970 Chevelle with a full roar design conversion. I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.